So today I'm going to share the differences between real estate investments versus business acquisitions. And you really want to check this video because otherwise you'll start putting a lot of time into one of those and you'll make probably a big mistake because you want to stay focused at least initially on one of them. So today I'm going to share with you what I believe is the best focus for you. Depends on where you're at. So hey, if you don't know me yet, my name is Mohan Pobera. I'm the founder of acquisitions.com and I'm here to share my journey in the business buying world and to also help you build wealth by doing the same. So I get many messages from people who ask me, what is better, real estate or business acquisitions? Many people build their wealth with real estate. Many people build their wealth with businesses. What is better, right? And I want to explore all of those things and make sure you stick with me until the end because some of those little points can literally make or break you and make the decision for you of where you want to focus your time and efforts. So let's start by talking about the value of real estate versus businesses. Based on my experience as someone who was involved in both, I don't know many real estate investments that can grow in 50% a year over a year on a regular basis. With businesses, I know many businesses who grow 50%, I'm talking at least 50% year over year for many, many years. So the upside of the value that you can have with real estate compared to businesses, there's nothing to compare. Businesses, the upside can be much, much higher. Now you're probably saying, hey, but it means that it's more risky. It depends on what businesses you're looking at. Obviously, if you're going to invest in technology businesses that exist for only like a few months and you buy in those businesses, those businesses are going to be much more riskier. And obviously compared to real estate and real estate is much more safe. But if you go out there and buy an existing established boring businesses that exist for 20, 30 years sometimes, that is growing slowly year by year, the chances of that business to go down is very, very small. And if you want to understand the potential in business growth, go and open a new tab in the meantime and search for my channel for reverse exit and look for the potential and what's possible in the space based on a case study that I'm showing you there. Another thing to look at is the fact that with real estate, it really, really, the value of that real estate really depends on the value of other properties in that market. In business, you can see similar businesses in similar sectors that are being sold for very different prices, right? I can show you marketing agencies, for example, that are being sold for three times their income. And at the same time, obviously, businesses that are sold for much more. And I think the beauty is that the fact that, especially in business, we are talking about the more the income you have, the more value the business has. And with real estate, obviously it depends on the type of real estate, but it's more about, okay, what other real estate around that house, in that area, in that city are being valued at. The next thing I want to explore with you is the fact that with businesses, you're just more in control. You can work on better marketing, better product, change your employees, change everything you're working on and in the business and the way you present yourself and adding upsells and joint ventures with people. There are so many things you can do with businesses and obviously you can go and buy other businesses to have com complementary services to what you're doing. With real estate, there's only so much you can do. Yes, you can fix and change the carpet and things like that, but how much can you do a different job than someone else? I mean, there's only so much difference that you can do, even if you're fixing the real estate, if that makes sense. And if you agree with me on that, go and like this video right now and let me know in the comments below what are you thinking. Now you're probably asking right now or saying, hey, but with real estate, you can make really passive income compared to business. And that's why I created this video right now. So go and watch it to understand how you can make passive income with businesses as well. So go and watch it right now and I'll see you there.